What's up, YouTube? This is your boy David Dave coming back at you again with another YouTube video. I'm just doing the episode four, the free to play. Uh, just working on some grinding, getting some chicken. Well, you know they're they're called chickens or food or whatever for the six star of my apothecary. So that's what I'm working on at the moment. I'm on stage nine of, uh, well, stage six of chapter nine of the campaign on Brutal. I chose this location for various reasons. Shield guard is a drop here. It's got the destroyer set, so that would be good on the shield guard and for what I'm gonna use them as. And then it drops War Maiden as well. And War Maiden, is a useful champion in the arena because of her defense drop. So if I could get her, that'd be awesome. And right now I'm just on stage six because I'm trying to get speed. Or, well, I don't know if it's speed boots or maybe like defense for Sandender boots for the shield guard because I don't know if he needs it. Well, I don't want him to be super speedy because he doesn't have to be. So that's what I'm working on right now. Let's see what I got here. HP, no, trash. Junk. Just get rid of that. But I tried live streaming on YouTube, but that I gotta have 50 subscribers on that. So that's gonna be a while. I'm at 35 now. I just gotta keep keep you guys updated and do weekly videos and just keep at it. And if, if people like my videos, then they'll just do whatever, you know. If not, then I'll never live stream. <laughs> I'm just gonna do it on my uh, days off. I'm gonna record some videos and put them up when I can. Today is a cold, frigid day out, so there's not much to do. Uh, you know, besides chores and stuff, I guess. Right now, I'm just doing some video game playing, and my resources are limited, so I gotta be careful, and I can't spread too thin. I'm not going to do a lot of champions, especially on common ones. I'm just going to st stick with Shield Guard and Armager. Shield Guard is re really good. Um, he could solo the Minotaur if you build him out right. Crit, do a lot of crit rate, crit damage, and defense. I believe I'd have to take a look at the, this kit. I could be wrong. Well, ooh, here's speed gear. Don't have a lot of the speed boots, so I'll keep that. I'm probably looking for defense percentage though for him. <coughs> uh, let's see, this Beastmaster dude or whatever his name is. Looks like an interesting champion. Let's get anyway. I don't know if he's any good. I'll just basically, you know, look at. I want to do the champions that I want to. <clears throat> I think are cool. Not really trying to do anything other other people are doing, but. Keeping my shards for the two-time event and all that. I don't know if I'm going to use that Lucky Charms dude that I pulled. I've got a lot of healers, apparently. <coughs> but there's an artifact enhancement going on, so that's good. Champion training, so good time to be training some chickens. <laughs> I could farm on 12.3, which is probably the best for, like, 
silver at the moment, but Kale doesn't like 100% of it all the time. <coughs> Sometimes he loses. Here it's like I got every I can get everything I need right now. <coughs> so this would be the location for me right now. Let's see attack percentage. Not really what I'm looking for. So I'll sell it. It's hard to come by energy when you're free to play and silver. Well, I gotta be very fickle with it, I guess. Wish I could save my gems up, but right now I'm just working on, I gotta get my core team built first before I can start hoarding resources. And eventually I wanna I was thinking about just rushing into faction wars as soon as I can. So I'm trying to think about that. If it's a good idea or not. That's more of an end game type deal, but interesting. Could be useful. We'll give it a shot. Experiment with it. But if I could get like at least to where I'm from and like two two to three star glyphs, at least I could get to there and and get a little bit of resources out of faction wars. Doom Tower, I'm not near that yet. Uh, Demon Lord, that that could take some time too. But. Such is the grind, you know. I don't even know what day I'm on. The login bonus, anyway. I don't know how many minutes I'm gonna do each each uh, episode. Probably fifteen minutes, maybe. Depends on. I gotta start writing down ideas to discuss and talk about and just play around on the game. Because it's a game, and at the end of the day, it's a game, and it's just for entertainment purposes, you know? So, might as well have fun with it. See what we can do. One thing I don't like about it is it, well, the amount of pop-ups that happen. Because when you log in, if you go to the home screen, it's like one pop-up after another, but that's what most games are, basically. Like I was looking in that Digimon Re-Rise game, or like the mobile game. I haven't seen very many people like cover that in two years, so I don't even know if the game is still like being worked on by the developers or not, or they're just gonna can the idea and do another uh, re-release of a Digimon game because because they've been trying for for a while to. Get a video game. Oh, I just skipped that part. Wish I saw what I pulled. I don't like when that happens. I'll keep the mouse up here. But yeah. I don't know if they tried to keep the Digimon hype going or. It's like if they worked on it and they just made a decent game. And stuck with it. Well, they do fine. But it's like they want to. 
and the 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 prices for the stuff in the store in that Digimon game are ridiculous. I mean, some of the prices in this game are, are pretty good. Like, you could get good deals in this game. But in that game, you, it's like, I think it's like $60 for like 600 gems, which is ridiculous. Seems like a fast cash grab to me, but at least on this game you could be successful. I mean, halfway successful with the with what you get. Another game I play is Clash of Clans, but I don't know if I want to do content with that. There we go. I must be out running out, almost running out of energy because her gems. So I only had like 200 when I started farming. Struggle's real. And I'm not even going to try to buy ancient shards with it. Sure, you get 11 shards, but I think it's 11 shards, but. If I spent 900 gems to get that, that is a waste of energy, really, because you're, first of all, you gotta save up all the gems, so you're already putting yourself behind. And you're not guaranteed to get anything. And even if you do get anything worth using, how are you going to level them up if you don't have any energy? Or, like, used up all your gems, so you can't buy any more energy to level them up. So, it's just going to sit in your box anyway. What do I know? I just focus on my dailies and collect my login rewards and hit the arena. Just basically do the day to day stuff. He clears like the first two waves. This integrate does some damage. But then it'll do, I think it'll do acid rain now. So, now it'll do acid rain. There you go. This is probably the best starter to go with by far. Cause he's got the poisons, he's got everything you need. I went with Elhane on my uh, main account. And <coughs> she's not very, not very good at all, really. Because she's just a, been a damage dealer. And she doesn't have very good, like, lifesteal gear on her because for some reason I, well, I stopped playing it for a while and then I, um, but before when I was playing it, it was before they did the whole update on the, campaign missions and the 
all that. And um, I thought her lifestyle gear wasn't good enough, so I sold it. Put her in other gear, so she didn't have lifesteal gear on her. So I had to work to get lifesteal gear on her, and it's still not as good because it's only like common and uncommon pieces on her. So she's not where she needs to be. But on that account, I have some other good campaign farmers that I can put together and get running so but then what would I use her for not much because she doesn't all she does is damage and she get she'll get replaced by other nukers and I guess she'll be good in, like, Faction Wars. He'll be good in Faction Wars. Someday. I get a hell of his mask. Oh, wait, he's already got his mask. How is he not good in Faction Wars? That doesn't make sense. Maybe I need to get new gear on him. <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah, see, this is this is what I get to stare at. I just want to show you guys the what the grind is like. If you started playing, you probably probably see that. But once I. Uh, once I can start live streaming, I'll probably do like a live stream on my days off for a couple hours. Just kick back, do some farming on that. And then, and then I don't know, do showcasing videos or something on my team. I say but a lot. Must like. <laughs> oh, nah. Maybe someday I'll be a famous YouTuber. You guys like uh, collecting Pokemon cards or watching Pokemon openings or. Magic or Yu Gi Oh! My buddy uh, DB Collects, he does openings on his channel. It's, you, you spell it D E and then the, the little line thing that goes in between the words, and then B E, and then it's a space and then it collects. I don't know how to tag his videos or whatever into my videos, so. Or his channel, so maybe I'll ask him. But yeah, he likes to do that on his channel. He just he's sick to hear. I think he's gonna be working on a new channel for for just like magic. So the Charizard that I got in the Evolutions box. That's still being graded, so. Oh, I got a defense percentage, so. Five-star defense percentage, so. I might be able to, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go back to the map. See, I got 80 energy left. Uh, let's see here. Well, I'll switch switch to stage five and then work on doing that. Uh, let's see what I got over here. Uh, 
Sometimes you just get bored and you want to get into events or something. And then you got Dungeon Divers event. And some silver. Just a little bit of silver. I don't want to exit another game. So, okay. I did level up Lucky Charms to level 50. So that's good. And then Lizard Dude, I, I got him up to level 50, or level 40 as well. And then other Lizard Dude too. So those two would be excellent in my uh, faction wars for the Lizard people. Uh, let me see. I wanted to show you guys some gear that I got. Let's get down. Is it this one? That's okay. It's got 18% HP. So that would be good on like an HP champion. This one. Three. It rolled three speed. So that's 17 speed right there. And just 5% crit rate. But jeez. That's a good piece right here. I've got that up to 16. And this rolled three in speed too. So that's 18 speed on that. That is ridiculous. I'll definitely be using that for a while. I'll probably keep that for its entirety. And this one, I got really lucky on this one. Because uh, it's really, like for a six star, it's really hard, especially when you get up to the higher levels to get the level up. But this leveled up for me. 24% crit rate. It's just bonkers. Mind you, you only have to get up to 100% crit rate to for like a damage dealing champion. So that's a quarter of what you need in just one piece. And it's got speed on it, so that's crazy. But I said butt again. I'm not going to sing that song because it's whatever. He looks interesting. So, attacks one enemy, fills this champ's turn meter by 30% if its attack is critical. So, you build him out of critical, fills his turn meter. Then, attacks one enemy, grants an extra turn if the target is killed. It's on a three turn cooldown though. And then it takes all enemies two times. And then when he's ascended, it will ignore twenty percent of each target's defense. That's crazy. And on a rare champion, it's just nuts. But I don't know. I don't know if I want to use him because will he help me in the long run? Don't know, don't know. Maybe later on down the road. And I got nothing else to build. So I'll go to champion develop. Well, you gotta, whatever. I'll just show you on this shield garden here. This is the shield guard that dropped. Yep, he's defense based. Takes one enemy, has a 20% or 30% chance of placing a decreased speed debuff for two turns. So it's okay. And then takes all enemies, fills this turn champion's turn meter by 20% on each critical hit. And then damage inflicted is proportional to defense. And on a two turn cooldown, 
He's ridiculous. And then removes one debuff from the champion each turn. Which is always useful. Well, I got two of them. So that's two skill ups. There's one in my vault. Pretty neat. Where's the other guy? Oh, he's in the vault too. We're not going to show you. There's my girl. What do we want to get? Well, I think that'll do it for this video, guys. And I'll go back to farming. And if anything happens, I'll show you guys what goes on. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace out.